Open Ledger fans, we are now in Shanghai. It's a great pleasure to see you all again. I'm looking forward to actually tell you all the news we have for this weekend from the time that we went to the Graphene DEF CON. Once again, welcome to you all. See you soon. Right behind me, we have the entrance to the EU Garden and I'm looking forward to tell you much more about the news that happened in this week's event at Graphene DevCon. See you soon again in this Open Ledger Weekly. <laughs> what you see here is one known face and three new ones. The three new ones are actually some of the three more or most important key figures in Open Ledger, and I'm happy to introduce you to, to them all three. We have Ivan here, our CTO. We have Yuri, our business director. Hi. And we have Mikhail, our development director. We are right now in the EU garden, and we are really happy and looking forward to share so many good news uh, from Open Ledger in today's news as well as coming Open Ledger weekly. Here comes the Open Ledger news. First off, we've been approved as a full member of the High Tech Park in Belarus. It's a great step for Open Ledger and their partner, uh, ATSoft, and it allows us to gain so much more influence on the blockchain in general, as we've entered as the first influencer uh, and service provider of blockchain solutions in the High Tech Park. And with this tax exemption, uh, it is to say also that all crypto activities under the high-tech park umbrella are tax-free. Under the high-tech park umbrella, we are also able to offer legalized exchange services, mining operations, and creating smart contracts for our own purposes, as well as any of our partners, uh, business associates, and clients who wish to have such uh, services. All of these uh, features are really uh, a natural focal point for uh, blockchain development. Let's just narrow it down. HTP alias, or AKA, uh, the High Tech Park is approving Open Ledger ATSoft in April. ATP is a center for innovation and development established since 2005. In the past and up until now, there's like 200 companies who have joined with more than 30,000 uh, employees uh, in total. You could also say that since the decree that was made uh, earlier this year, huge amount of companies have actually uh, queued up to apply to become part of the HTP. 50 are still waiting in line. To tell it clearly, blockchain is hot and High Tech Park, with this latest decree, has announced that they wish to focus on blockchain innovation and high tech development. We are ready for this big move that we've done right now by entering HTP, offering more than 60 plus blockchain pros and more to come in 2018. Another great part is our new landing page that we just launched today. You can actually find it under dex.openletter.io. With it comes the news of a clean and promising future interface. Also, we are offering white label solutions for businesses worldwide. And in the coming weeks, we will be adding our gateway to crypto news as well as a blog site for you to generally in total have a future content material related to blockchain as well as statistics, etc. It will be the place to go when you want to have blockchain news and news about Open Ledger in general. I think another great uh, amount of news that we presented in the, the roadmap uh, for Open Ledger in the coming months is really that within the next three to four months probably, we'll be introducing both, uh, uh, what can you say, uh, an, a bridge in terms of bridge between cryptos for instant conversion. We'll be adding uh, our uh, fiat gateways, uh, payment platforms. We'll be adding a mobile app. So three strong features 
for the possibility of added liquidity within a short time. I think it shows great future for the decentralized exchange in general, but of course uh, for Open Ledger in general. I would like to bring also one great salute to two of our partners who was attending this weekend at the International Graphene DEFCON, Scorum and Cryptvisor. The Scorum, in their way of presenting graphene and the improvements that they suggest for this to happen, uh, as well as the introduction of their platform for fantasy sports, and as well the promising uh, introduction of their platform when they cover the European or rather the World Cup in soccer, and Cryptvisor, of course, for their recent launch of their application and what comes with that in future. I think Cryptvisor, with their app, has a promising way of covering worldwide uh, data protection and messaging in a completely new way, not seen by anybody else. As the last part of the news from Open Ledger in general is the news that we presented here at the Graphene Dev Con in Shanghai, where we basically uh, presented our uh, vision uh, for the future of BitShares, and part of that was presenting who Open Ledger was, and finally informing and telling people about the worker proposals that we int intend to present in the coming weeks. It will allow increased uh, profits for all players involved, uh, as well as inviting many new businesses uh, to the BitShares blockchain. When it comes to the International Graphene uh, DEF CON that happened here in Shanghai, there was a, more than 1,000 uh, invites uh, attending and perhaps more than 50 speakers. It was really a great event when it comes to organization and a really interesting uh, introductions of what graphene is all about. There was a lot of speaking about the technology behind and the vision of what graphene brings in the future. I think it was an awesome event and I hope a lot of that will be brought forward and allow uh, new businesses to join uh, the graphene uh, technology in total. I will allow uh, this last comment about the International Graphene, DEFCON, to be my international news for this week, but please don't go away now. I'm gonna play you uh, quite a few minutes of uh, some uh, video cuts from what happened over the weekend in Shanghai, and I hope you enjoy uh, an insight of the DEF CON in general, but also of Shanghai, which I will also be showing you, you there. Uh, please enjoy, and see you next time in Open Ledger Weekly. Friends from the Open Ledger community. I'm Pete Crab. I'm the BitShares community member and the founder of GDEX. I hope you that can enjoy the uh, uh, happiness in trading uh, in uh, BitShares, the, the, the great uh, decentralized exchange. Thanks.